Hey guys, Segment and Intro here, and today I am playing Universe Sandbox. And if you don't know what Universe Sandbox is, it's basically a physics simulator, astrophysics, a ton of stuff. It's really cool with all the analytics and everything that they have together on here. So, yeah, at least I think I'm using that word right. I don't know, but the information and uh, the math that they do. But, I mean, yeah, so basically, right now we have our solar system here. And um, here's all the orbits. And, oopsie. All the moons are here too. And they're all circling their planets and then the sun. Here's like asteroids here and there. What you can do is you can change the name of planets, what they look like, where they are, their traje tra trajectory. Jeez, I can't speak. Um, but yeah, can change the speed that everything's going at. So let's click on Earth here. All right, we're going to slow down time. And let's slow it down a bit more. Graphics on this look amazing. To an extent. Alright, so of course we have the Earth. The moon's around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. But, um, whoopsie. I don't know how I did that. But you can see all the city lights light up the only planet that'll ever do that i'm pretty sure is earth of course which means nothing else has life in this universe in this sandbox at least all right let's slow it down a bit more right now it may only seem like this is spinning but it's still spinning around so that's the moon right there i think It's just not working. Okay, then. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but let me. All right. Whoops. Let's edit it. So there's its axis. And we could tilt that if we wanted to change the seasons up. We can also change its velocity. We can move it. Whoops. Okay. Let's see here. We can change its gravity, which will most likely change it to a gas giant, and then a star, and then a black coal. I can do though. Let's make the surface temperature go up. Let's watch everything burn. Burning up. Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, that was a bit fast, wasn't it? Look at that. Whole thing melted itself. And now it's a star or did it just evaporate? I don't know what just happened, but what would happen if I put this down to four hundred? It's not even a star anymore. It's living dormant. And change the color. Look at that. I'm gonna actually change the temperature now too. Let's go to Kelvin. And let's 
course, it's right here. Look at that. It's heating up. Might as well become a red star now. Please don't tell me I just broke the game. I need a more powerful computer, that's for sure. Okay, well, since it's so bright, I guess everything around here is going to be super bright as well, which is very strange. Okay. Let me just... Oh, it's more yellow. How is everything so bright? You can see the surface is like moving. So bright, apparently. But you can't see anything. Probably broke the simulation. Okay, is there a way to turn down the brightness? Luminosity. Okay. Let's go down to like one. Did I just get closer or? No. What? Just disappear. Okay, well, I don't know what I did, but we're gonna load up something else. Let's do an empty. One. Okay. Now we're gonna add a star. All right. Now let's do. View habitable all the way out here is the habitable zone. So, what we're gonna do let's take something like Venus is green. Okay, put that in orbit. Let's put Venus right there, right here. We'll have Jupiter out here. Planet nine. Maybe we can make Mars habitable too. Mercury, probably gonna burn up. And some other random. Placing them too close together. Okay. Whatever we just did. Let's turn this off. 
So you can also see orbits now. So trails just shows behind them, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But let's put on orbits. So here we got our little star here. Let's rename this to. So I would name the star. Let's check out Mercury here. Nope. Venus. We did put Earth, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did. Let's check out Kelper. Whoops. Water planet. What the full things water except for the ice right here at the top. Let's speed it up a bit. All right. We're going to put its temperature. Is that all ice? Might be what it is. Let me go 10. Maybe 50. Now it's just a water planet. 100. Let me look at the composition. That much water. That turns it into a gas. Here's what the surface looks like, apparently. Let's speed it up. Light speed. All right. Let's look at tools here. Wonder what this does. Hmm. I know pulse has to be like radiation, doesn't it? It's not working either. Well, that's gone. Let's, what is this? So I can throw material at it. What exactly is going on here? Are we are we having an ice age? We are having an ice age here. I don't know what all that crap is, if it's not for me. Looks like Slither IO. <laughs> like actually. Okay, we've entered an ice age apparently. And let me see why. We are in close to that, but we're like 
right there. So yeah, I don't know. I can still see the lights though, because that's like part of it. But okay, well then. Oh wait, did I put ice on it? Oh, I put water. Wait. Let me do fireworks. Fireworks in space. Launch. Do that in a second. Delete just gets rid of it. What about laser? What does this do? What the? But it doesn't do anything else, does it? It'd be cool if it like carved into the planet, but we're gonna be the Death Star, all right? This is now the party planet. Look at it. There's more. Okay, so as you can see, now I got some large red whatever up here. Let's launch something at it. How about? I wonder what my objects is. Could I add some? Got the TARDIS here. Whoops. What is going on here? Why is grid on? It looked like it was. gonna launch pyramid <sighs> well that's what it did here I'm gonna add the earth Still, no, it shouldn't be moving anywhere. So now I can launch stuff. That many pyramids came from outer space. I don't know what I would do. Gotta send the TARDIS down. We actually gotta find England. There we go. Wait, for it to hit it, we gotta do this. I don't even know anymore. Hmm. 
pool ball. Yeah, probably not going to do much of a difference. But if I sent Mercury at it. Unless the moon intercepts it. Nope, not going to do it in time, I don't think. Definitely not. Oh, it's still going to launch into the Earth, so. Look at that. Fragments coming off. Imagine living there. 2020 is already not bad enough, and this is what's happening. Moon crashes partially onto the sun. Speed of time as much as possible. So it seems like Earth is moving. Don't know where. But it is. It's not even Earth anymore. I would show you a black hole, but then that almost broke the computer last time. So, yeah. Let's see what else we can do. So we can turn this stuff off. Or on. Does this even still have a star? Yes. Yes, it does. For now. What I'm going to do is send this one. There it goes. Oh, massive star right there. Just imagine. 2020 is not already bad enough. There's your little tiny star. I'm about to collide with this star. Whilst this gigantic one over here is coming towards it. Things are not looking so good. In fact, let me look at the orbits here. Because I want to see if everything's being pulled towards this. So this is its main orbit. So here's the Earth. It's going to be devoured by it. As you can see, everything's being poured into it from there. This is being pulled into that. So is that. I think it's messing up the actual thing. So you think this is going towards that. But technically, that's going towards that. There's the Earth and the Moon and whatever else is there, slowly making its way. So here's the orbits being pulled towards the star here. And now they're attached to it. All of them slowly attaching around this one star. I don't know how this is supposed to work, but it does. So It is what it is. Now, if I pull a chart on here, you can see everything together. 
from like biggest to smallest or in order or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, what we're going to do is look at something to play with. Hold on, what's going on over here? Is everything collapsing in on this star? So things are fusing between these two stars here. Who I think have now become binary. I'm not entirely sure. And they're messing with this, so. Why don't I just go right ahead and... It's probably not going to do anything. So... Not big enough. Watch this. Oh, and that velocity that swung around it, that's so fast. Why is it getting so much faster? Jeez, the acceleration on this thing. I want to find something big. That must be the biggest one then. Okay black hole here we go okay in time they'll reach oh I don't know what the heck's happening here, but something's happening. What is all this stuff? This is how you break your computer. <sighs> well, guys, the video has been getting too long and it's probably boring. So thanks for watching. And if there's anything you guys want to see me do on this channel, comment it down. Make sure to check out my other channels where I also do reactions and skits and sometimes exclusive gaming videos that I don't upload on this one. And just so you know, I'm going to be very busy. So try to get them to me now so that I have time to record them because I have a job in school. But I'm in quarantine and that's going to be gone in like a week so yeah just try and uh, give me some ideas with that said